Welcome back to another episode. In today's one we are going to take a look into how OpenAI has developed WebGPT, an AI model for long-form question answering based on GPT-3. WebGPT can use web search queries to collect supporting references for its response, and on Reddit questions its answers were preferred by human judges, over the highest voted answer 69% of the time. The announcement was made on the OpenAI blog. WebGPT is a version of OpenAI's pre-trained GPT-3 natural language processing model that has been fine-tuned to use a web browser to perform search engine queries, follow links, and quote sources. The model is trained on a dataset collected from the Explain Like I'm 5 subreddit using a combination of supervised learning and reinforcement learning, incorporating human feedback, and can generate paragraph-length answers to open-ended questions on a wide range of topics. According to OpenAI, Human feedback and tools such as web browsers offer a promising path towards robustly truthful, general-purpose AI systems. Our current system struggles with challenging or unfamiliar circumstances, but still represents significant progress in this direction. In 2019, with the task of creating smarter digital assistants, a team of researchers from Facebook and Google proposed a long-form question-answering task, which requires an AI to produce richer answers to more complex, open-ended questions. OpenAI's GPT-3 model proved to be very good when evaluated on QA benchmarks, scoring up to 71.2% on the trivia QA benchmark, with no fine-tuning. Although, like many language models, GPT-3 often hallucinates, that is, it generates answers that seem reasonable but are factually incorrect. To address this problem, many researchers have augmented deep learning QA models, with an information retrieval mechanism, which can query a knowledge base, to provide additional context to the model's decoder mechanism that generates responses. OpenAI used a similar approach, but instead of including information retrieval in the model, they programmed their model to interact directly with a web search engine, a task that humans can do well, and that a language model can mimic. The team first developed a web browsing environment which can be controlled via text commands produced by a pre-trained GPT-3 model. The model is then operated as a RL agent, given the environment which consists of a question and the web browser's current page. The agent generates a command, such as issuing a search query, following a link, extracting context from a page, or generating a final result. This agent is fine-tuned using a combination of supervised learning on human-generated examples and RL using a reward model. The team evaluated WebGPT on both the ELI-5 dataset as well as Trivia QA. For the ELI-5 evaluation, OpenAI collected the most voted answer from Reddit and also had human demonstrators generate answers, using the same web browsing environment as the model. The researchers hired contractors to compare WebGPT's answers to these human-created answers, with WebGPT's answers being preferred over the Reddit answer 69% of the time, and over the demonstrator's answers 56% of the time. On the Trivia QA benchmark, WebGPT outperformed GPT-3, producing answers that were true 75% of the time, and both true and informative 54% of the time. InfoQ has previously covered other efforts to improve AI language model performance using external knowledge bases, including Baidu's Ernie 3.0, which is trained on a knowledge graph, and Facebook's Blenderbot 2.0 chatbot, which can use internet searches for supplemental conversational context. More recently, DeepMind developed Retrieval Enhanced Transformers, a method to augment a pre-trained transformer model by incorporating information retrieval into the model's attention mechanism. A research team from Baidu published a paper on the 3.0 version of Enhanced Language Representation with Informative Entities, a natural language processing deep learning model. The model contains 10B parameters and achieved a new state-of-the-art score on the Superglue benchmark, outperforming the human baseline score. The model and several experiments were described in a post on Baidu's blog. Unlike most other deep learning NLP models that are used only on unstructured text, Ernie's training data includes structured knowledge graph data, which helps the model output more coherent responses. The model consists of a transformer XL backbone to encode the input to a latent representation, along with two separate decoder networks, one for natural language understanding, and another for natural language generation. In addition to setting a new top score on Superglue, 
Displacing Microsoft and Google, Ernie also set new state-of-the-art scores on 54 Chinese-language NLP tasks. Although large deep learning models trained only on text, such as OpenAI's GPT-3 or Google's T5, they also perform well on a wide variety of problems. Researchers have found these models often struggle with some NLU tasks that require world knowledge not present in the input text. So guys I hope that gives you a good insight to what the team at OpenAI are working on. If you would like to find out more I will leave a link in the description to the team's website, where you can sign up to be one of the first to experiment with this groundbreaking technology. If you enjoyed the video then remember to hit subscribe to stay up to date with all the artificial news. Have a smashing day!